Hey guys, welcome back. This is another video of the HTML series. Last time we finished off with that website. This time we're going to be learning how to create tables in HTML. So without any further ado, let's jump into the video. So as you know, there are like many websites on the internet that display information. Uh, like for example, your table format the information like your name and then your age, your gender, your phone number. So such kind of information are visible to you in a tabular form. So we are going to be learning how to create tables in HTML5, just using HTML5. And then you can style it using any other CSS or SAS or something like that. So to start off, let's like go ahead and create a folder in so I'll call this folder as table.html I'll keep this outside, it's in the about section So it's outside, so this is the file we are going to be working with To start off we'll just work with the normal thing of emit abbreviation and we'll call this table Okay, to create a table in HTML what you do is you first work with the table tag which goes like this opening tag of table, and you close it off and then that's the closing tag. This is the table opening tag and closing tag. And when it comes to table, you have three parts of the table. The table header, the table body, and then the table footer. So this is how you create the table head. We're using T head. And this is for table body, T body. And this is for table footer, T foot. So what goes inside the table header is like the headings of the columns so for example you have your name your gender and your phone number let's say and your age so you'll have name age phone number gender so these four as in the table heading and table body you'll have the details like uh, tom age of 13 his gender is male his phone number is something then jen uh, age of 21 then female then something so these are what goes inside the table body and inside table foot you'll have like for example let's say you have total of five members so you write total five members or average and their age or something like that so this is what goes inside table foot first we'll start with the table head where we'll go ahead and write the column headings so you have something called as a table row which is for each row be it the heading be it the body be it the foot this is what you'll first start with so table row and if it's a table heading, use th, table head uh, tag, th, which is for table head. So this will give the heading for that row. So let's say I, I'll name this heading as name. That's one heading. Next table head, age, th, and the gender or sex. Uh, now when you save this, and let me open it with live server. Yeah, now we have the table heading, the name, age, gender. I haven't styled it or anything to make it look different, but these are what goes inside the heading. And next, we'll go to the table body. For the table body, similarly, that's also a row. So we write table row and we're going to give in data, like the data cells, name, first person, then the age of the person and then the gender. So for that, first, how we do that is you use TD, which is table data. And you give the name of the person. So we, let's say we give Tom and the table data of his age, which is 20, let's say. And we'll give table heading and we'll give it as male. Now, let's say you save it. It will align it perfectly under the name. So like the spacing is given automatically. I didn't specify it to have these many spaces. So when you work with the tables, it automatically spaces it out. So you have such data. So now I'll go ahead and I'll add like two or three more data to the table body. So let's go. So now we have added data, we have added four more data. It's like spaced out evenly, like it starts from this point and ends. 
and it's perfectly placed. Now that is the table body where we've had it four different rows using the TR and in inside the TR we have to add three columns. So we have used TD which is table data. Now let's go ahead and add table footer. Now this I'm going to say like the total how many people are there. That's again a row. So we do TR and inside that table data we'll give total and TD and the number of people are four. So we'll just give the number four. That's it. We have saved it. There's not like difference out here, but we have just said in total we have four people. Now that is the table data which we have worked with. Now we have other things in table data like the attributes we can add to it. So we can have it in a different way. Like for example, if you look at out here, we have uh, Jerry and Tim with the same age and of the same gender. So that's what we are going to work with now. So instead of writing 20 and male again, we are going to work with the attribute out here so that we have it spanning like it spans to two rows. Now we want it to span it to two rows. So we'll do row span out here. So we say row span equal to two and let me remove these two and I save it. So you have it like in the middle of Jerry and Tim saying that they are both 20 years old. Similarly for male to we do that. We say row span equal to two. Once you save it, you have it in the middle, which means that the Jerry and Tim are like 20 and male. So that's what we did here. We have expanded to two rows. So we have data for both Jerry and Tim and we put the data in the middle of their rows. That is row span for you. Now we'll call column span, which means like I want to cover both the columns and say, okay, I have a total of these many people. So that's what I'm going to do. The age and gender, I don't want the four to be like only for age. In total, there are four people. So we are going to say column span equal to two. And once you save it, you can't have any data out here uh, for gender. It will like move that cell. So let me write here, I give TD and I say three, let's say. You see, there's a gap. The gender is not filled because I've spanned this four for that too. So that's why it's gone. So you don't, you can't add data to the gender. It's just for both age and gender, the four has been given. It does not go in the middle, but it, you cannot add data to gender. That's what column span does. Now you can see that the table is not like, you don't have it differently. Like this data is for this and that. A border would be really helpful for us to read the data which is there. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a border to this. The HTML way is not preferred. Usually you could do it the CSS way, but since you are focusing on only HTML, let's look at how to add a border to the table. So you go to the table tag, the whole tag and you say border equal to, and let's say you give one and then you have like one space like one pixel space border for each of them so it separates the elements so now you can like understand row span and column span much better because you can see the gap for this is a, it's only one row one row but for this one which has a row span of two it has two rows and for this one which has a column span of two it has two columns covered so this helps you to understand row span column span much better and also makes your table look much better like let's say i go and put three it increases the border and makes it a better element. But this is not usually done, but you can look into it, how to do it with CSS. We are only learning the HTML part of it. So this is the table where you go ahead and add headings. You use table row for everything which you add. You add TH, which is table head for each of the table heading. Then you have table body, which is the main element that you write. And you have table data for that. And when it comes to table foot, even there you have table data where you separate the elements and then you write the table foot. So that's it from me in this video. We have learned about tables and in the next video we will learn more of HTML. So stay tuned for that. Thank you guys for watching.